If you wanna know how to create those guides for your carousel, check out the link in the description for the tutorial. Let's start by dragging our images to Photoshop. Let's drag it to our first slide. I will add these images link in the description, so you can follow this tutorial. Choose the gradient tool, and let's choose black and white gradient. Now create a layer mask. Hold the shift button and drag to the left side, to hide that part of the background. Do the same thing for the rest of the images. Now create a layer mask. Choose the gradient tool, and start dragging to the left side, to mask that part of the image, while holding the shift button. You can drag more or less depending on your image. You can drag more or less depending on your image. Do the same thing for the rest of the images. We will fix the colors later on to make it more smooth. Let's put this image between two slides. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Now create a layer mask. Choose the gradient tool, and start dragging to the left side, to mask that part of the image, while holding the shift button. Go to adjustment layer, and choose brightness contrast. Choose the type tool, and let's add our headlines. I'm using Montserrat font. To get these character, go to Windows, and choose Character.
press Ctrl T and scale it. Hold Alt button and drag to make a copy. Let's do the same thing for the rest. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Hold Alt button and drag to make a copy. Now let's add a circle. Create a circle while holding the shift button. Hold Alt button and drag to make a copy. Hold Alt button and drag to make a copy. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Hold Alt button and drag to make a copy. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Right click on the circle and choose that circle layer. Let's change the places of the circles to make it look better. Right click on the circle and choose that circle layer. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Now let's create a new layer on top. Choose the Curve Pen tool. Choose that line layer and create a mask. Click on the mask. Choose the brush tool. Make sure the colors are black and white. Make sure the foreground color is black. 
Now let's start hiding the lines that overlap the images. If you wanna show the line, switch the foreground color to white, and start painting. Let's have a look at it. Choose the selection tool. Since we didn't do 10 slides, let's select the slides that we did, and go to image and choose crop. Go to select and choose deselect. Now choose the slice tool. Let's zoom out to see how many slides we did. We did 8 slides. Right click and choose divide slice. Divide slice vertically into 8. Now go to file, export, and choose save for web. Right click and choose 6%. Select all slides, and save it as JPEG 100. That's it, hope you liked it.